And now for the crypto news that doesn't suck. Apparently, we are in a bear market. Okay, everything is down the last 24 hours. As a matter of fact, you know, I love bear markets. And we're going to talk about crap tokens like Solana. Look at this, 118% short. It's nighttime, so I'll turn on dark mode for you. 113% short Solana. I just put this in earlier, a little while ago. Let me close that while we talk. We're going to talk about news today. Okay, I'm going to go over a couple of different things. Thank you very much for that. See, this is why the direction of the market doesn't matter unless you're a hodler. For me, I don't hodl. Okay, I like to make money no matter what. I don't dollar cost average. I don't do any of that. And I live off crypto. Okay, see this? This shit pays bills. Okay, 74% shorting Ethereum. Epic. This is pretty amazing. We're up 200% on XRP. Hopes and dreams destroyed. Look, this is how you make money in crypto. You learn to short, whether it's Margex or Fibit or whatever exchange. This is actually awesome. I didn't expect this. 233% short XRP. 100% short Ethereum. These are outperforming Bitcoin. Amazing. Look at this. 219%. Maybe the, S um, the SEC finally is shutting down Ripple. XRP. Look at that. People want to dream about, you know, um, oh, it's going to be used by all the banks and this and that and blah, blah, blah. I need to close that. Pay me. Thank you, kind people at Ripple Labs. Thank you very much. All you fans, you dream boys, moon boys of XRP, thank you very much. So here's where we are now. This is how you make money when markets crash. Learn to short. It's so easy. You want to know how easy it is? It's the red button instead of the green button. Duh. Okay. So now I'm going to come over here. Litecoin. Litecoin is a real nice one to short. I'm going to put a little bit into Litecoin. It might not, you know, percolate, percolate until later. There you go. Don't show me that again. It's nighttime, so I'm in dark mode. We always start slightly down. I like this cross setting. Depends on your wallet and everything else, but you can have some amazing wins. Watch. It automatically regulates it and everything else. But hold on. Where's that ripple? Let me get a little more of that. A little good ripple loving. Buy down. That's how you short. Okay. Here we go. Screenshot where we enter. No emotions, no feelings, nothing. And again, this is play money because we still got these to bang out. Okay, let's grab this one, Bitcoin short. I have a random question for you. Now, we all know Vitalik Burian of Ethereum or Butalik, whatever it is, Vitalik. Who cares? ETH founder. That's how we look him up. Let me ask you this. So we got him and then we go over and we look at, we look at Brian Armstrong from Coinbase. I have one simple question for you. Why does everybody in crypto look like a fucking alien? What the fuck? Oh, here we come. Steamrolling into profits again. Look, it's not so bad, is it, Skippy? We were down 23 and 13. We still got an 80% bagger. A bagger. 104% bagger. And everything's in profit again. So, in dealing with the news... Let me show you restricted jurisdiction warning. Restricted jurisdiction warning. Look, we kindly remind you to verify. This is some shit exchange, Prime XBT, okay? To verify your account before June 28th. And look at this. We do not provide services to anyone located in the United States of America. We have detected, we have detected that you logged into your account from an IP address located within the United States. That's not true. We kindly ask you to provide any proof of citizenship, blah, blah, blah. And it's by July 28th, tomorrow. So, you know, regulations are coming. This is what all you crybabies want. All you little bitch boys in XRP and everything else. Moon boys, okay? This is what you wanted. So all of these things, eventually, you're not going to have these kind of opportunities anymore. Look at that, 106%. That's 10 years in the stock market. You wouldn't even be able to get it up anymore by the time you had that return. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that money now. You better congratulate me, nothing. Look, no congratulations, nothing. For all my hard work here, I want to show you how much crypto sucks, okay? And these phony devs and everything else. The Cardano founder, you know, Cardano, Ada, AIDS, this one, right? You know what? Throw a molly, a molly ratchet at that too. Boom, cripple you. 
kneecap you. Now look, you wind up down as soon as you enter. Depends on your entry. You got to know what you're doing. But yeah, we'll hit that one too. All right, a little Cardano action to steam up the story. So Charles Hopkinson, or whatever his name is, sounds like Hopkins disease, gets a chance to address Congress. Uh, gets a chance, let me say that again, to address Congress. You would think that he has some really good things to say, okay? Hold on, I want to short some Ethereum. So we're going to go Bitcoin, I'm on Fibit now, to Ethereum. I'll get back to the news in a minute, okay? Hang on to this. Uh, enter the amount, that. You got to do this with this exchange too. All right, I'm going to get 13 ETH. Is it done? Error occurred. Come on, hit it again. So I'm going to play for you, Charles Hopkinson, and what he actually said, which was utterly ridiculous to Congress. Wait till I show you this. Yeah, click it. Exchange it. Good. Now I could go over here, chart. Okay, I could come over here to Ethereum. Okay. Uh, 50x. How many I got? 13? So I want uh, 6. Okay, hold on. We'll get back to the news in a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, everything fell through the floor. I might have missed the move. Look at that, 1181. Boom. Bodies hit the floor. I love this shorting. How we doing here on Margex? All right, come on, come on, Ada, AIDS. All right, with this in mind, let's bring on Charles Hopkinson. So we're going to notice what goes on here. Usually I like to do my news as a podcast, but today is something different. We're mixing news and trading. So watch this. Hi, everybody. Okay, douchebag. Right off the bat, I don't know if he's sitting on a dildo or what he's doing right here. Okay, but the girls can see what's going on back here. All right, number one, you are addressing Congress, okay? And you couldn't even wear a fucking tie. I, your jacket looks like it cost two bucks from fucking thrift store. You couldn't dress any better. You look like three pounds of bologna in a one pound bag. Now, let's continue. Chairman Maloney, ranking. All right, I want you to watch body language. I want you to watch eye contact. There will be none. And I want you to try a little bit to listen to what he says. I'm going to spare you. I'm not going to play a lot of it, but watch. Member Fishbach, members of the subcommittee and congressional staffers who work so hard. Thank you for inviting little fake kiss ass who works so hard. A little fake kiss ass. Oh, remember Cardano, which he runs, Ada, is supposed to be decentralized. Well, that means that well, if they don't want it no more, the government or whatever, there's nobody to turn to, right? It's decentralized protocol. No, they'll fucking go after him. He is centralized, sitting right in that three pounds of baloney suit. Inviting me to testify at this hearing. I now wait, watch this. He talks a little kiss ass, but he's fucking completely reading. Look, if I was a CEO or something, I'd get up there and I'd say, you know, I would just go into it, all right, and tell them basically why this has to, you know, this is new technology, this and that. He reads a whole bunch of bullshit like you'd read on the back of a hype. Watch. Many and I appreciate. All right, get through the bullshit. He's ranging from infrastructure security. To all right, here we go. I'm going to let him talk, I promise you. She's still laughing, like, who is this fucking idiot in this cheap suit? Anyway, watch how he's just reading this. It's like typical blockchain bullshit. Entirely new economies, like metaverses and NFTs. <laughs> also has presented new challenges and amplified the existing problems. Our legacy... He's fucking reading. I could get up there and public speak. Anybody can. Systems cannot handle the rapid movement of... Uh-huh. ...without counterparty uh -huh. risk and require centralized middlemen you are centralized chubs i shouldn't have said that but it's i, I don't know what his fucking jacket let me check my trades everything's percolating nicely we got nothing here just sitting all oh, down 33 cent 500 bucks who cares we yeah you want me to, to eradicate that i'll just take one of my winners and double that this is how we do it it's easy Tory tools risk management systems and oversight processes were never designed for such speed scale and rapid evolution for example, in just four years, our industry has touched... Do you hear this bullshit that he's reading them? This is something like you would see on one of those BitConnect cartoons or one of those videos on a hype whistle. Concepts ranging from IPOs to intellectual property to completely new business structures called DAOs that are effectively leaderless and jurisdiction free. Oh, bullshit. Distributed, uh, autonomous... What the fuck is it? Organizations? Not one of them is decentralized. You, you know, this... <laughs> 
The bunch of bullshit we have been fed, I have to tell you. Okay, Charlie Lee invented Litecoin and he sold it when it was 300 bucks. He got rich. That's what these fuckers make these shit coins for. Okay, like ADA Cardano is a shit coin. And in crypto, you have a bunch of people, a bunch of people who are like a cult. They, if they have ADA, they want it to go up so bad they believe this guy is the next Jesus. Okay, to me, he's two pounds of bologna in a, three, in a fucking one pound bag. And again, just listen to the babble. Reflecting upon the 20th century, our financial services, our technology companies, and our manufacturing capabilities. These industries oh are my God. transforming under the civilization, increased competition, new technology. Oh my God. All right, listen. That's not going to convince nobody, bro. Actually, I think you, you, you fucking sold securities, honestly. And Cardano is just a copy of some other bullshit. All right, you're not no Satoshi Nakamoto. You're just a guy trying to capitalize on something. This girl, I don't know if it says kick me on the back of your fucking shirt or whatever, but or you paid her to be there. And she's, let me not say anything. Did I tell you this already? I don't know why the fuck everybody in crypto looks like an alien. If you really look, you can see, okay? Take a good look at him. He looks like one of the blue man group without the blue. Oh, so then we come over here, we see what's going on, blah, 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 everything's down. It is a bear market, could last three years, okay? I just showed you that you can make money no matter what. And I want to talk about another thing, KYC. All right, KYC with something like Coinbase or whatever is one thing. But have you never heard of identity theft? Like, seriously? You know, a lot of these hypes and these sketchy platforms are asking for KYC as an excuse not to pay people, number one. Number two, even, even that piece of shit tour guard, okay, that I used to use as a VPN. Let me tell you something. I, do you think he's an alien? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I even, I have no idea. We don't know. Is he a cat? A blockchain? A un yeah, he's a fucking unicorn. Anyway, haven't you ever heard of identity theft? Let me tell you about tour guard. Okay. You know, a lot of times when these companies in crypto, what we've learned is when they have a hard time paying affiliates, well, that means that they might have some financial trouble. So tour guard owed me, I, you know, I put a link and I never got a lot of referrals from it. Like they owed me like maybe 800 bucks. When crypto dumped, they refused to pay me. And then you know what they did? You know what they did? Tour guard, I'll tell you. I made a big stink. I said, well, listen, I think you guys are having financial trouble. I'm going to remove my link. I said, for a measly $800 in fucking crypto, you're not going to pay me? Then they asked me for my banking information. I said, I'm not giving you my fucking banking information. You always paid in crypto. And then you know what? I threatened them that I was going to come out and say this, and they threatened to fucking dox me. My personal address, my name, everything else. From a VPN company. A VPN company, protect your privacy and have anonymity. Threaten to dox me. So don't use fucking tour guard because I'll tell you if the authorities went to them and, and they wanted your logs or whatever, apparently they keep records and they're no good. They're dirty bastards in fucking Orlando, Florida. I found out everything I could about them, so that's why I removed my links. Fuck you, tour guard. Threaten me again. So now I'm over here on fucking Fibit. I have a link for this below. I just shorted Ethereum. I got 13 ETH. Okay, I dropped, what, 3 ETH in there. Shorted, I'm up 18%. It's nice. Nice. Now, Ethereum is in trouble because I started with, what, 13? Ethereum is in trouble because... Hold on. I want to see that number go as high as I can. Get out just the right moment. Ethereum is in trouble because, you know, what is it? Three Arrows Capital just defaulted today on $670 million worth of crypto. They just defaulted today. All right. As a matter of fact, I'm going to let this one run. Uh, what would have gotten it? So we're throwing a two. Okay. We'll jump in there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let her keep ripping. Hold on. So, yeah. So I think that Ethereum could really drop. And we're going to see this. Hold on, hold on. 10, 10.47. Anything over 7% is profit. So we started with 13 ETH. Hold on. You know what? We'll stay for a while. Let it run. I teach this, by the way, how to trade on both of these exchanges. So, yeah, can you believe that? And let me tell you another thing with KYC. When I first got into crypto, I first got into crypto.
You know what happened? There was this thing called Electrocoin. And you know how they got all my personal information? They're like, Oracle, you know, give us your information. We'll send you one of the first debit cards. One of the first debit, look at that. That's why I increased it. I'm about to make a, an ETH. Anyway, Oracle, we're going to send you one of the first debit cards, bro. Okay? And um, never add to a loser, only add to a winner. Okay, there we go. Another one right there. All right. So I give them all my information, right? And you know what happens? You know what happens? It goes bad. Again, they threaten to fucking dox me and give out all my information. So what I'm telling you about about this KYC stuff and everything else is that don't just give anybody in crypto. Haven't you ever heard of free? Look at this, 15%, baby. Okay, there I go. I made one eat finally, 17%. All right, so haven't you heard of identity theft? Nobody's ever told you about this. Well, it's true, okay? Especially with sketchy crypto companies. Let's talk about passive income platforms. I know a lot of YouTubers are showing some shit like this thing called Fundies, okay? And there's another one that pays you like 3% a week, okay? Of your own money. That's how these things work. I've got 25%, boom, baby. Boom, baby, boom. F the news, 23%. Hold up, hold up, 23, open the box, get ready, we got 13 ETH in the kitty, almost, almost a Bitcoin, 0.75, 23%, 22, 21, 21, round and round she goes, 20, 20, take it, and our ETH increase, now we got 13.85, and now we start the process all over again, check, oh, we're going down more, this is so exciting, I don't know, what do you want, you want the news, what do you want? Huh, what do you want from me? I give you everything. News, trading, how to get rich in crypto. Okay, look at that. Right into profit. Perfect. Throw two more in there. Boom. Staggered buys. Look at Ethereum dumping. This could be the news about um, this three hours capital. It happened about five hours ago. They defaulted on $670 million. Okay, now what happens when these companies get liquidated? Why does the price drop? Why did Bitcoin go down to like 19,000 from where it was? The price drops, it's very simple. Look at this, look at this go. Oh my God, people, I'm sorry here. It's a bear market, I know, right? No, 17%, I'll take that. So what do we got there? Now we got 14.39. What do we start with? Do we start with 13? Yeah, so we made an Ethereum. Let's hit it again. Hold up. Um, I was supposed to do the news. I don't even know what channel I'm going to put this on. So yeah, all of these um, all of these big companies, how are we doing here? 9%? I'll take that too just to close it out. Okay. Links for these exchanges are below, but you need to subscribe to my trading channels to really get these and learn how to do it. So we might need to, what do we got? Only two in there? Yeah, I'm going to stagger in and buy some more. Watch. It's going to be beautiful. I think ETH is going to go under 1000 yeah, here it goes, pumping a little bit. Now, when I say I don't think I think it's going to go under a thousand, it doesn't mean tonight. Although it would be wonderful, I have to tell you. So we covered the KYC thing that was bothering me. I wanted to get that out there. We covered that. Why are fucking people in crypto aliens? Okay, we went over that, and <laughs> and we also covered uh, Cardano. Okay, which is just trust me, a shit token. And you watched me crush SR, uh, XRP. Okay, crushing shorts. Yeah, all the banks are going to buy your XRP. Right. <laughs> They've been saying that shit since 2017. And now you're fighting with the government. Good luck on that. All right, that's all my news for today. I'm just going to keep crushing. You know what? Maybe I'll link my two trading channels below. I don't know. I don't know. I just kind of want to mix everything all together. I don't know what channel. I might put this on my news channel. I don't know. All right, that's it. I'm done. Bye.